people, the talent, the expertise of not only the cabinet members, but teachers, classified staff, certificated staff, all coming together to ensure that our district continues to thrive and continues to move forward. I also want to acknowledge a very special person in the audience to me, my husband, who came. <laughs> has sat in these board meetings as I have transitioned into various roles from principal to director to county office administrator to assistant superintendent, associate superintendent, and babe, I couldn't do it without you. With all of your support, um, you always making sure that the boys are taken care of. We have five boys together, five amazing boys, and someone cannot do this job without support like this and making sure that I can thrive and I can do everything to my fullest because you are there. And, and I love you so much and I thank you for everything that you do for me and for our family. Thank you, thank you very much. start to swear in our trustees until the 13th and beyond, right? So again, um, in order to only have one meeting in December and then you fall, you run into the holiday breaks, we are gonna have to switch that meeting. So if the board is in agreement, we can do it just that following day on the 13th. That would be a Friday. Um, however, if there is no agreement on the 13th, there is one other step that we're going to have to take and that is to ask for an extension on the first interim report from our business services. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to stick to the Thursdays and let's say you wanted to do it on the 19th of December, that's mm -hmm. fine. We just need that direction now so that we can ask for an extension for the interim because the, if the first interim has to be uh, given to you and to the public by the 15th. So, okay. So it's either the 13th or the 19th. Are you guys okay with the 19th? Okay. 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 So, do we have to make a yeah? We have to make a motion to approve the, the yeah, meeting, yeah. the changes of the meeting dates. Can I please get a motion? I would like to make a motion to change the meeting dates uh, for November, December. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. Roll call vote. Trustee Arenia. Aye. Trustee Khan. Aye. Aye. Vice President Smith. 
Yes. Brother Jaime, yes, motion carry. And so now we move on to the five minute break yes. to um, honor our teacher and our classified employee and our new interim superintendent for Rico Union School District. Do we have a CSEA report? Good evening, everyone. I uh, just want to report that uh, we submitted our sunshine letter. We are ready to go for negotiations. Hopefully, we'll just start soon. Okay, moving on to board member report. Trustee Arabia, do you have a report? Report, but I just want to say congratulations to um, Laura. Welcome to our marriage. I know some people are going to be happy, and some people are going to be unhappy. So, welcome to the Thank you, but remember, we're in a, the honeymoon stage, <laughs> so we're going to be very happy. <laughs> yes, and uh, I know some of the um, community members and teachers probably already left, but I just want to acknowledge them. Thank you for coming forward and bringing your concerns. I'm glad to see um, them here, but don't wait until the last minute. Please feel free to always come to the, to the board and approach us. So as, as a board, we can uh, um, interact with you or, re or respond to you, but I just want to say thank you for coming and for bringing your concern. We are here to represent our community and our main focus is our students. And we're here for the students. And I'm being here just not to warm up a chair. I'm here and I'm asking questions. And sometimes I'm voting in good faith and maybe I'm really wrong, but I'm doing what is best interesting for our um, students. And thank you for being here. Thank you. Moving on, Trustee Khan. <laughs> good, good evening. I also want to congratulate uh, Superintendent, uh, Interim Superintendent Cortez, and I know you're going to be doing a great job. So. Thank you. You're so, continuing on here, we're just going to move right into this thing. So, I try to keep it, to, always try to keep it to one page. I usually try to send it to Claudette to give to the board members for later on if they want to go more into detail. But I'll, yes. So I'm going to make it real quick here. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, on the 13th uh, of last month, uh, I was able to visit some classroom, uh, classrooms at Mary Chapel and Cesar Chavez. On the 16th, I visited Oak Avenue's uh, school class uh, and Mary Chapel classes, and I was uh, participating in the afternoon in GLAD, some GLAD training with elementary uh, teachers. But for those that don't know what GLAD training is, uh, do I need to explain that probably? No? No. Okay. 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 So, so yes, I, I was able to participate and uh, it was wonderful. The, uh, the instructor was great and we went to some, uh, I'm going to cover this more a bit, but we, we were able to go and actually see some uh, classes and uh, teachers in action group them. Uh, doing those principles and things. So, okay. Uh, uh, see, on the 17th, I visited the Vista Very Middle School and I also visited the Student Wellness Center there. Very impressed with that. Also, continued with the GLAD training in the end uh, with the uh, elementary teachers in the afternoon. And, oh, uh, it, and as a bonus, uh, there, was a, there was a break uh, during uh, the morning session and I was able to do a, a wonderful. Um, um, uh, was a wonderful visit. I visited the the, uh, the resource center, and they gave me a wonderful tour of the facilities and were telling me about some of the things they're trying to do in the future. And I do encourage our board members to, to do drop in and visit with the staff there and find out what they're trying to do for our students. Okay. Uh, let's get that out. Okay. Uh, so, just lo love that glad training. That I got, love this so much that I. One of the five, because the lady said there was, it's a little bit different with the, uh, the secondary versus the elementary or the middle school teachers. So I did sit in for one, uh, uh, one day of that training. So it's a little bit different than that. Okay. And on the 19th, I visited uh, the Slingsview High School District, the, uh, Washington Middle School, and I uh, visited the Student Wellness Center there. It was, it was very nice. And, uh, uh, some more board members were there. Add to the report, but it was, it was great to see the contrast and the, the, the other schools were doing. Okay. Moving up quickly, moving on. Well, uh, we, we had that special board meeting on the 23rd, so I'll skip that one. Uh, on the 24th, uh, I observed the uh, uh, preschool students at Vista Verde, Mary Chapman, and Oak Avenue schools. 
uh, with the superintendent. And then I also attended the I Ready a workshop uh, at the district office with the, the school staff when I was able to uh, learn some interesting things about I Ready program. Thank you for uh, whoever set that up. So that was, that was a great experience. Okay. Oh. Oh, on the 26th, I attended the Hispanic Heritage Festival at Oak Avenue School. It was a wonderful 90 minutes of, uh, uh, most of it was wonderful uh, eating that they had out there. It was so many things to eat. And they had a wonderful uh, a dance by a, a one of the local students there. And I think a, a, a local singer was sang some songs. So it was great, great turnout, fantastic. Enjoyed it, and I'll have to go back there again. Getting close to the end now, which is um, on the uh, 26th, 27th, uh, I participated in the, the instructional rounds uh, with some of the other school administrators. For that, for those that remember what, what they do with the instructional rounds, we go to visit different classes. We spend about seven, eight minutes, and then we do some evaluation on uh, what we saw. And I did that for all five schools for, the last, for those two days, and uh, it was it was great. The, in the past, I think I did one or two, but I, I felt it wasn't justice enough for, I just want, I wanted to see everything, so I, I came back for the second day, so I was able to participate in that. Uh, unfortunately, when I left at the very end of that day, uh, there was, I got a flat tire, but that, that was the down, but the day, the other day, the day was great, so. But you had to go and visit the Yes, the sites and, uh, and spend some time with the, with the bar, for wonderful administrative staff. Okay, on the on the set on the second, uh, I attended the Hispanic Heritage Night at Royal Sacred Academy, which you saw some of that tonight at the presentation. Uh, I wish they would have shown a little snippet of the dancing. I did, I love this so much. I did actually record it and I put it on Facebook. So for those people that want to follow me, I had some uh, about, uh, some of the dances that they had. It was, it was fantastic. I mean, the, the kids, they were they were wonderful. It was a the, it was a packed house. And then, uh, yeah, it was great uh, community engagement. It was just fun. And I encouraged uh, our uh, school board members uh, next year to go to that again because it, uh, it's incredible. So, and, um, yeah, and the parents were too. Because a lot of it was actually parent, you know, parents playing it all together, uh, especially with the, uh, the food afterwards. So it was just a, it was a great community experience. Uh, almost there, there. Almost there. Let me finish this real, real quick at this thing here. Uh, okay, well, it has we had a meeting, special, another special board meeting on the third, uh, and then uh, on the eighth, I um, oh, I was watching uh, because I wanted to find out what how they operate uh, at the, at the uh, Department of Education the board meetings, and so I just because we're going to be going up for next month, I just wanted to see how things work over there, so I was able to watch some of the board meeting, and they had a wonderful presentation about uh, some of the testing. Um, software that they use for, for, for our state testing. Like, what was it, Better Balance, or I, don't, I can't remember exactly what it was that they used for testing our state. A Smarter Balance, right. And uh, 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 I encourage our board members to actually watch that little snippet because our students, you know, are doing those tests and just want to see what, how they're trying to grade some of those, uh, you know, our scores. And it's very, it, can be, it can be subjective. Last thing, second to last thing. <laughs> uh, for, uh, okay, yeah. Last thing, and then there was one more thing I faced. So, okay, the very last thing, this is the, uh, the first and second, uh, some first and second grade classrooms at Mary Chapa uh, on the 9th. And then I forgot about the third, I, with Trusty Smith, I attended a community uh, vendor uh, workshop that they have every month. But, uh, meeting with the vendors across there, you know, to, to get to know them better. So that's it. Thank you. Did he say that? Yeah, I did say no, that. He did say that. Yes. Thank you. Okay, moving on to um, yes. Clark Padrid. So um, I'd like to echo what, you know, Trustee Ed has said. Thank you to the public for coming and, you know, showing support and for coming to us. and. Letting us know, you know the concerns. Also, um, Ms. Cortez, congratulations on this well-deserved appointment as the interim superintendent. I know, I know you will be great at this, and I know I can't wait to see how you continue to move this district forward. All the achievements I know you've done, I know you're just great again. 
Um, also, today is World Mental Health Day. Um, let's support each other, guys. You know, sometimes we don't know what people are going through, and they just need a smile or a hug. So, or both. Or both. Yeah, and it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. Um, also, on September 27th, I attended a Mary, uh, actually, with Oak Avenue with Trustee Kong, um, and uh, President Hyman. My first uh, walkthrough. My first walkthrough with you. Um, you guys showed me everything that I needed to know. And Mr. Kong was showing me how to do the. The sheet. The sheet. The sheet. The sheet. The sheet. The sheet. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. You're welcome. And um, that's about it. Thank you. And Click Madrid is ready to sub. <laughs> <laughs> now moving on to Vice President Smith. Yeah. Um, I just speak up loud. How's Do you want mine? Yeah. Okay. Did you say mine? Okay, uh, I joined uh, the superintendent over at uh, Arroyo Seco at, uh, and we toured the classrooms. Uh, I think we toured like four different grade levels over there, okay? And uh, I was able to see some of our uh, uh, educational programs in action that we are renewing tonight on the consent agenda, and uh, I was very impressed. And uh, also, uh, since the last meeting, I also attended the this Hispanic Heritage uh, evening program over at Mary Chapa, and I saw President Heine over there, very active in her role with the PTA. Okay. She also wears many hats. Oh, okay. right. And uh, uh, I was able to go on a field trip, which was the equestrian program. Uh, I don't know if you all wear it, but I'm very much into horses. I have a couple of horse ranchers, and oh, yes, that's right. and uh, so I, so I left my saddle at the ranch and my boots, so I didn't get on a horse. Okay. Oh. That's that. That's but that. I saw the kids in action, okay, and it's a very good program. Uh, it's also, uh, it's mentally for the children who might have uh, some issues. Uh, they're able to uh, work things out by, with, with a horse, and the majority of them have never been on a horse, you know. It, you know, the closest thing they got to get to an animal is a dog or a cat here in town. But uh, uh, it, it was very impressive. Uh, I also there, I saw something. I passed it on to my fellow board members and my superintendent. And uh, so being taken care of. Um, also attended, what was that program that we did across the street? Uh, with the different committee, uh, and the committee, the, uh, committee. And yeah. Yeah, partnerships. partnerships that we have, I mean, right. the, the many partnerships that we have, and it was very interesting, okay, because it actually does take a village to raise a child, and if everybody does their little part, and the, and the more organizations are involved, the more successful we are, okay. Uh, I did want to bring something also to the to the table, to the you know at the last board meeting we, we said that we were going to advertise for District Four because we need somebody to step up and we were told it was going to get into the newspapers and to notify the public and uh, I'm, I, I haven't seen it okay so I don't know if we got any uh, letters submitted yet. But uh, if the public out here could help us out, notify the, your, your neighbors and the community, if they know anybody that lives in District 4 that wants to make a difference and join the board, we have a vacancy, by golly, you know, so submit a, a, a note to uh, Claudette there and uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get that person interviewed, okay? Um, 
So and has anybody submitted anything yet, Stella? Um, as of this afternoon, yeah. no. Still, still no. Okay. We need help. We need somebody to step up and help us out. The more people that are that are active, the better we will be doing as a, as a team here. Okay, and it, it's the village again. Somebody in that part of town needs to step forward. Okay, and step up to the plate, tap the bat, and that's it—a grand slam home run, so to say. Okay, um, there was something else, and I can't think of it. So I'm going to cut it at this point. Oh, I'm very happy. We have a wonderful superintendent, okay? And she's going to be very successful because the board supports her 100%, okay? And she has a lot on her plate. And it's also the team in the district. We all need to work together, okay? Because it's for the kids. That's what we're here for. Okay. Oh, yes, I know there was something else. Um, I, yes, I, you probably have seen me in town walking out there on the street. I'm still promoting the, the Cal Kids program, free scholarships, okay? And uh, I, I know the community engagement uh, uh, has been getting parents to show up, and I tried to get in the the business there, and uh, they're also going, uh, they, some, some of the parents un, that have, that are not too good in communicating, I got the, uh, the counselor involved over at the high school, and uh, the counselor is also going to help sign those students up at the high school, okay? So, you know, it's all about getting as many people. Oh, there was one more thing. My first five years at the board meeting, we always got uh, uh, every month the ADA. How, how many kids do we have enrolled, okay? At that time, we had 3,400 kids. Right now, we got 3,100. Apparently, we lost a few other kids somewhere, I don't know. But we're gonna fix that up. We're gonna get those kids back here in school because we have new leadership here, and uh, we only, a lot of the kids are getting homeschooled, a lot of the parents are also taking them out of our district uh, to a district elsewhere, probably closer where, where the parent is working, but uh, they're going to realize our educational program is, is going to get better, we, and we're going to, we're going to attract these parents to entrust us with their children, and we're going to make it happen. Because we are a team. We're going to work together on this. Okay? All right. Now I'm done. Yes? Thank you. Yes. That's why I'm glad it is. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm asking the community to help out, because it's not in the newspaper. Okay, we might be putting it on the bulletin board over there at the schools, but you know, how many people in the community go down there to see the bulletin board? Okay, we're asking for people. I don't have any kids, so I'm not running down there to the bulletin board. Mr. Tom is running down to the bulletin board. I know Ms. Heidi would be because she's very active over there. She's probably posting all this stuff, helping out there, putting it on the bulletin board. Okay. Thank you, know, you, Mr. Smith. We'll be sure to, to advertise in the newspaper. If, if, if you got some flyers, I, I'm good walking and just dropping them off. If, I, I'll pretend it's the marathon I want. Okay. Thank you, uh, President, okay. Vice President Smith. All right. So, um, Ms. Cortez, congratulations on your new interim superintendent role. Under your direction, we are entrusting you as the board and your staff that you move the district forward for the continual betterment of enhancing the education of our students here at USD, as our students of our community here deserve the best of the best as far as education and experiences. So congratulations. Thank you. I would like to also just um, echo on um, Clerk Madrid and uh, Trustee Khan. We did go do a walkthrough on 927 and, uh, and it was, um, 
a different one than the usual ones where you just get to go and, and sightsee what's going on in the classes, the office, or you know, outside with the kids. Um, this was really rich information. Um, gave us a whole different um, perspective of how and, and what rigorous work is expected um, that teachers complete for um, our students. And it, it was good to, to see that. I'm very amazed that the team at Oak Avenue really is rocking it. I mean, there was, I, I wanted to give everybody those check marks, like good check marks. Um, and, and I think it was really hard not to because you could really go into the class and see the learning that was happening. You see it on the walls and they're um, really doing what is written there and the kids um, hold the teachers accountable. I mean, I, I got to see that in one of the classes and, and I think what was great was that the teacher really accepted um, the, the constructive reminder of the student and he just carried on. Um, so that just tells me that there's that high confidence that our teachers are really um, showing our students or the students at that site in particular because that's the one that I, I got to go see. But in past um, experience, I've gone to to see at other school sites, and it, it, it kind of all mirrors from one school site to another. Like, there's nothing that's happening at um, one school versus another in, as far as academics. Um, you can really mirror that it's all happening at the same time. So really, to the teachers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all that work that you all put in to really educating um, our kids. and. This is a good time to re remember and remind ourselves that teachers teach everyone. I mean, you need a teacher to teach you to be a plumber. You need a teacher to teach you to be a teacher. You need a teacher to teach you to be a lawyer. You, I mean, teachers just really are um, vital and, and, and really do great work. And so um, thank you. And again, too, I agree with what my fellow board members were saying. It's really important that um, our staff, our, our, our GUSD staff, family, feels that this is an open forum to come and, and discuss any concerns or any of the, the great, just like the great, just like the, the negative, it, it's, it's an open space um, where we need to hear, you know. Um, sometimes, you know, we want to respond, but we really, really can't. And so that, that's what makes this part of our role very difficult. Um, and it can bring uncertainties distrust and um, challenges. So really, um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for being here and being vocal about the changes and the concerns that you all um, have brought forward. Uh, we don't take lightly whatever concerns come our way once they get to us. So really, thank you. And um, let's continue in just doing this work and, and supporting one another. Um, because like Cook Major said, it is mental health day and month and all of the above and it, and it can be hard sometimes. You know, we don't know what other people are carrying with them and it can be frustrating. So let's just try to be a little bit empathetic and kind to one another and help each other. So thank you. Okay, now we are moving to, to the superintendent's to report. The interim superintendent yes. report. Yes, thank you very much. Day seven of the interim superintendency, and I'm just so grateful for the warm welcome and all of the support that I've received. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it, it's just been amazing, and I know that this is a big job, and that there's a lot you know, of work ahead, and I don't take that lightly either, and I look forward to working with everyone within our organization to ensure that we flourish. Um, also, thank you to the GTA e-board. They've uh, been very vocal in their um, support and their vote of me as the interim superintendent, and I, and I am grateful to them, and also to the board of trustees for entrusting me in this position. Um, a few highlights since we last met. Um, I have attended our, scheduling, our scheduled monthly meetings with both CSEA and GTA to ensure that there is clear communication and that we are able to speak openly and address any topics that are pertinent to our district. And I also want to thank Ms. Martinez and Director Vasquez um, and Ms. Mooneyham who also attend so that we can have all departments represented and there's just clear communication across. 
Um, thank you uh, to Vice President Smith and Trustee Kong. You've already mentioned on your reports that you did some amazing walkthroughs, and it is true. Um, our teachers are amazing. Our teachers are working so hard. Uh, we have Ms. Rojas here. We were able to visit her classroom. Thank you, Ms. Rojas. Um, we also have our BAPA teacher. Thank you so much, Mr. Salas. Um, we were able to see you in action as well. And if we didn't get to you this time, we'll get to you next time for anybody watching and listening, but you are all truly amazing. And, and thank you for the interest of the board and always wanting to do those walkthroughs. Um, I also want to recognize the leadership of Director Vasquez, along with all of the sites, for our very low number of chronically absent students. So, yes. so it is not an easy feat to keep our chronic absenteeism down, and we are the only, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but we are the only district in Monterey County with less than 10% chronically absent students. So, yes. So, Director Vasquez was asked to speak on our practices and our promising practices and how we're doing what we're doing. And um, she has highlighted all of the hard work of all of the sites and everybody working together to make that happen. So, thank you for representing us in a very positive way. Um, I also want to um, shout out Director Ramirez, um, not only for her double duty that she's doing at this time, but also, <laughs> yes, yes, but also um, she has not um, let the work of the district kind of fall to the wayside while she's doing this, this work. And she has been busy making sure that our ECE centers and our licensing go through, and so thank you. We are that much closer to getting ASA and Cesar, Cesar Chavez centers opened in the near future, not quite yet, but we are passing all of our inspections, all of our audits, um, everything is in line, so thank you so much. We can't wait to wel welcome our youngest learners. Thank you. Um, yes, thank you. And then I just want to say thank you to all of the staff, everyone, everyone, even if you weren't mentioned by name, but everyone here is working so very hard. Um, I see that, I recognize that, the board sees that and recognizes that, and that's what makes us an amazing, amazing GUSD team. And then just some upcoming events um, for the public and for the board. Tomorrow we have a PD all day from 7.30 if you want breakfast um, to three o'clock and this is for our certificated staff members. We will be at Vista Verde with some amazing PD. Um, also on October 19th, we are going to have our GUSD Teacher Academy. So all of our newer teachers in the district, they come and they get training. Okay. Um, if you want to stop by on that Saturday, we start at 8.30. Um, the topic will be building relationships. Mm -hmm. We know that it is so important to build relationships with our students and um, making sure that they feel safe and welcomed in their environments. Um, so I will be doing that training for all of our teachers and if you'd like to stop by, please do so. And then the fun run, the annual fun run. Yes, thank fun you. Fun run, yes. yes. Thank you to Director Ria Gomez for all of the hard work in organizing the fun run. That's going to be October 26th. Please mark your calendars. Come and run alongside, run alongside our kids or just enjoy the amazing PTA booth, uh, booths that will yes, be there. Yes. Um, it's going to be delicious. I mean, just in speaking about all of the different food booths, I'm like, wow. tacos. Yes, uh -huh. yes, walking yes. tacos, aguas fresas. Starbucks. Oh, not Starbucks, Cesar Chavez yes. style coffee and refreshers. Yes, um, yes. Aguas frescas. We have some fruit, we are, we do have some Blue Zones options yes, there as well. Yes, we have healthy, healthy items there. Yes. We do have some healthy items, but it's going to be great fun. You can run your calories off. Let's That's go right. and enjoy some nice quesadillas and probably do all the wonderful things. And that is all I have to report today. Thank you. Okay. Moving on to information and discussion, um, in our superintendent, can you talk to us about unification yes. update? Yes, yes. Okay, so a petition for the transfer of territory from South Monterey County Joint Union High School District to Greenfield Union District for the creation of a unified district is being heard at the California Department of Education on November 13th and 14th. 
this is something that we as a community have been waiting for, have been, have been longing for, and are, are ready for it to move forward. So there are two main um, key items that have kept us from previously moving forward, and I just want to make sure that we all understand that tonight. That is the IBIC loan that, yes. um, that the district has, and the FICMAT recovery plan. The IBIC, IBIC loan seems to be in good standing and mm -hmm. on track to be paid by 2029 or sooner. Or sooner. Or sooner. It's possible that it's sooner. Mm -hmm. The FICMAT report contains standards that must be met, and only then can the district exit from FICMAT and operate independently without a county trustee. Mm -hmm. So those are the two items. Um, FICMA, and with FICMA, I do want to recognize um, the South Monterey County Joint Union High School District and all of the work that the superintendent has done because they are on track to exit FICMA as well within the next three years. So the way that it works is they, they give you a list, and let me just um, show you, just give you a visual of um, how thick this is. So they have to make progress in all of these oh areas and also show that progress for a number of years. So it's not like fix it and then, yes. you know, it's done. It's no, you have to continuously show progress. They are on track um, to exit from that within three years or so. So currently I am working with Dr. Guest from the Monterey County Office of Education as well as South County District to achieve this um, in the best way possible for both districts. In the event that when we go to Sacramento and they say, you know, you will, you, you can move forward with unification within X number of years, whatever that direction is, we're going to have to work together. We're gonna have to make sure that um, both districts are, um, are taken care of, that there's communication, and that we do this seamlessly, right? Because absolutely, we want to educate our kids from TK all the way to 12th grade, and research yes. shows that that is the best way to educate kids is when there's a continuum from elementary all the way to high school. We want to make sure that we do that, but also take care of the adults involved as well, right? Because it is a big change. So one of the things that we're doing in the first order of business is to clarify any myths, rumors, misconceptions about what might happen if we unify, what's gonna to happen to this district. So we wanna put all of that to rest. So we're working together with the county office and um, they have hired a legal consultant to look up the facts, right? So if there is something, if there's a conception, like for example, they're, um, they're going out for bonds if they get the bonds, will it affect us unifying, right? We're getting the objective answer um, as to will it or will it not. So if the board or any of the public have any questions, please let me know because I can add those to that document that is then going to be made public in both of the school districts so that everybody has the same communication. Yeah, and in preparation for this meeting, um, we do want to be really thoughtful um, as to you know who we take. We only have 10 minutes to speak. So it's not a lot of time and we have to be super organized. We have to know exactly who's going to speak, who's going to say what I, of course, I'm gonna take the majority of the speaking time. Um, but you know, does a board member want to speak, community members, um, our CBO, we also have our legal team, right? That will help guide us through all of this. Um, so we're going to be super thoughtful, methodical, we're going to make sure that we support, you know, going up there. The room is not very big, so, you About know, 30, 35 seats, I can write it out from the, from the presentation that I saw. So. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not very big, but, you know, we do want to show um, our support. We want to make sure that Jason is there and heard and that the school board says, you know, you can move forward. Maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow, but in the very, very right. near future. Um, and so that is what I have to report on your position. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes. Thank you. And uh, to, to Superintendent Cortez, uh, I did, uh, we had a brief uh, conversation the other day about committee members if very interested in writing. If, oh, if yes. they can't go there, that, uh, they would like to perhaps have a have a letter of support, you know, yes. various, uh, various 
rebuild the community. And so, uh, at least for the beginning part, because I know we can't all go up there and speak, and, but uh, I, I'm hopefully that uh, maybe we can use some of those, you know, uh, show, give that to the, you know, right. the ed, ed board, some of those letters of support from the community. Right, thank so you. we are, thank you, thank you for that. Um, yes, we are thinking of how can we get our voices heard even if people are not there. So definitely writing letters. Um, I've also thought about working um, with Mr. Sanchez and, and creating like a digital platform and maybe like a website for, for identification where there is a QR code and then we can have the testimonials, right? So maybe we can't take a lot of people, but their voices can be heard through exactly. clicking on yes. a testimonial and listening to the stories right. of the parents, you know, and, and their thoughts, teachers, mm -hmm. the students. The students that are the most affected by all of this, you know. So, if you are interested in that, please let us know, and and we will get something together quickly yes. so that they can see the amount of support that exactly. we have. So, from apart, uh, us, apart from the ten minutes, then you would be able to make, like you're saying, like either these video recordings or these letters. Let's yes, yes everyone. Yes. So if there's like two hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, well, yeah, we can take it up there, and hand it to them. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's really cool what you can do now with QR codes. Know. So it can motivate the community to yeah. really want to come and, and support and hold this. Yeah. Well, something to show the support, but you know, again, not necessarily, I mean, we wouldn't all fit in the room. So I think that, that might be something to definitely consider. Now, is it a two day? Well, we don't know. So we'll have to, it's, it could be one of two days. Uh, it's yes. a two day. It's a two day hearing. You know, you know that their their board meeting is two days. Mm -hmm. So they have to, they will tell us which day that they're going to be here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But we don't know. We will get a notice when it gets closer to that date, and then they'll tell us specifically. Yeah. But the reason why we have to change yeah. our board meeting is because right. if we if they say it's in the front, yes, exactly. Yeah. Like we don't have another meeting mm -hmm. to be able to change it, so we have to do it. Cool. So now can I please get a motion to approve the consent agenda? I would like to pull out some items. Okay. So I will give you. Because that's also the agenda. Which one? It's number um, 15. 15. 15 and what? I'm sorry? It's, actually, it's number 7, 15, 16. 15, 16, and 18. Okay. Okay, so do you have questions on those? Yes. Okay. What's your question on 15? If you can go first to number 7. Oh, to number 7? Okay, I'm sorry. So it's just to be clear 7, 15, 16, and 18. Okay. So you, okay, let's start with number 7. I know for the preschool board, we're going to be um, doing, I would like to get more you know, information about that. Yep, so it's near the preschool building. So mm -hmm. wherever the, the preschool is, you know, that's out by the portables. Yes. There was a tree that was removed um, uh, some time ago, mm -hmm. um, and there's a little divot. So they would pour the concrete and just make it um, level. level. I've seen that. And then I know for the description you had like I install 43 reports and I don't want more um, details I know the attention. Okay. So I can pass the mic to Mr. Chapel. Did you have a specific question on the rebar or what what's yes, the rebar? Well, more details I know I know they talk about like twenty inches, how they're gonna be going and everything. So that what type of job it's doing. I just for the safety, you no know, have to be for the safety of the students and how it is on the back. So I just wanted more information. It's in a, a walkway mm -hmm. right now between the portables. It's about a six foot by six foot square yeah. mm -hmm. where a tree was, so it's got to have rebar in it for support. As the rest of that walkway does, that section was left out because it had a tree, but now that the tree's gone, it looks just a hole there. Yeah, just a hole, and it's, it's right in the walkway. 
And I think I know uh, Nova Star included like the uh, more of the premium on that land. I know what's like um, eleven thousand seven hundred. So that was my question. I know we have some already. I know it's always going to be on the plate for how big it was. But thank you for for clarifying that. Okay, fifty. Yes. What was your question? My question. Um, I know for the department, I know you had like who's uh, going to be um, traveling or doing it for what conference that was. So you're asking who's going to the yes, United States? Yes, and if, uh -huh, if that was like for all school sites or only one sort of uh, district wide, so that was my mm -hmm. question. That's not very specific. Yeah, so it's, it is district wide. It is for our science coach and our science leads. So we don't have very many science leads, but our leads do a lot of work with our district, um, mapping out standards, looking at our assessments, making any revisions. I know um, it, it is time consuming work. It's a lot of great work. And I, I'm looking at Ms. Rojas because she has been um, part of Thought Partners and Leads. And so she's nodding yes, it's amazing work. And so what we want to do for our leads is give them all of the tools that they need to be able to make these decisions um, to be able to work competently on all of our pacing calendars. So as such, we do um, try to take the leads to a conference mm -hmm. that will help them just become better leads and know more about their subject matter. So this one is for our science leads. So all the science leads for all sites. I know you have six yes. um, people, six um, but it's going to be from Okay. Yes. So the way that it works is our leads apply to be leads. Mm -hmm. So you have to have an interest in, in and being the lead of the exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyone can apply from any grade level. I mean, from any school for their grade level. Level. So it's open for all sides. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Thank you for your clarification. Mm -hmm. And number sixteen. So this is for um, Director Via Gomez and the social workers. So our social workers have been hired um, this year and we really want them to have the tools to be able to do the amazing work with our counselors and our, at all of our sites. So in order to do that, of course, we want to give them professional development. Mm -hmm. um, we've taken our social workers in the past to conferences. Now we want to take the social workers to conferences and give them the same level of uh, competence that our, our counselors have. Um, it's really hard to find social worker conferences. Those are not as easy to come across. There are more um, counselor conferences and social workers. And this is one that we found specifically for social workers. Mm -hmm. And so we are proposing that they attend this one. Oh, that's really nice. That's one of the national ones. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. and the national ones are usually always the best. You know, it's like the what is it, the Super Bowl? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's the best. world. Yeah. Uh, the, exactly. Yeah, the, the and it's gonna be one each uh, social worker for each school site that's gonna be participating with our um, director. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a that's a good um, opportunity because more than ever we're working with kids who are dealing with a lot of mental health wellness and if we have the social workers here, what better way of preparing them or helping them. So yep. you know, maybe they'll go tell other people, come over here and prepare <laughs> we need social workers because we support all of that mental health work. And especially you guys going national West, so you guys are gonna get more ideas more about how they're working and what issues they're dealing with. Yes. Okay, number seventeen. Oh, number 17. 18. 18. 18. The Mr. Sanchez. One, we had a person. One of us. I always. No. Oh, sorry. I was just playing. Oh, okay. 18. 18. 18. Okay, 18. Lexia Learning System. Uh -huh. um, this is our, our. Lexia is a, is a program that we use. We've used it at other sites. Not all of our sites have Lexia. Mm -hmm. um, the reason being is it depends on your school site funds and what you can afford. So this one is for Oak Avenue School mm -hmm. um, to have that Lexia Learning. And it's okay, and it's the only for that school site. So each school site they have their their in what type of uh, program? Exactly. So they have site funds that they can use, and they they need to look at the needs of their school site and the students, and then that's how they allocate funding for different things. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. you're welcome. Thank you. I I have uh, two items I would like to talk briefly, real quick. Number thirteen. 
that's dealing with uh, worn out books. Why are they worn out? It's because they are very popular books. These are the books that the children like to read. That's why they are come, as soon as the book gets in the library, somebody's checking it out. And that's why these books are falling apart and they're at this stage where they cannot be repaired. That's why we, we're discarding them. So therefore, when we order new books, principals pay attention because I know you're watching right now on the camera, okay? Those are the books that you, that, that you want to order to get them back on the shelf so that way the kids can continue to read those specific books because they like those books, okay? And that comes under item number 22 which is the school site plan. And every school has a school site plan. Therefore, principals, please pay attention what books are, 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 are we discarding so that way we can order them because we want our kids to read, okay? So their reading scores go up. They don't want to read the books that I like to read. I like to read Tom Clancy, but that's not what they want to read, they, you know? We want to make sure that we have the books on hand, in the library, in the classroom that they want to read, not what, what, what I want to read, okay? Okay. Um, also, school site plan. Last year, we had where we, we only have five librarians, okay? And to, and last, last year, we had those librarians help out with the after school program. So they were hanging out for an extra two hours. Two hours a day for five employees is not gonna bankrupt us, superintendent, okay? Getting those kids in the library as often as possible, getting the books in their hand so they can read, because a lot of the books only take about 15 or 20 minutes to read, and then they don't get into the library until two weeks later. Okay, we want them constantly leading. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Justice. I'm for those two okay. items. Can we get a motion to approve the consent agenda? I will make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Can we get a second? I'll second it. Okay, roll call vote. Trustee Sullivan. Trustee okay. Sorry. Trustee Aradia? Aye. Trustee Khan? Aye. Khan Padre? Aye. Vice President Smith? Yes. President yes. Motion carried. Um, and so our next regular meeting has changed, as we said earlier, to November 21st. First. Yes. And we, uh, any major I, board agenda items? I, I was, uh, uh, I wonder if we could be able to bring or put in the agenda item to discuss, like, how we're going to be able to um, go through the process to hire our superintendent. How are we as a board gonna, if we're gonna do ourselves, we're gonna hire a consultant just to, so we could talk about it. So I think we have to wait with our legal. We'll check with them and we can bring it back. I mean, yeah. Well, it's not, not to our legal that we have to have that conversation. We had, we had already um, agreed that it would be in March, I believe, February. If no. I, if but we'll have to talk it and we'll be on that, so. We have to discuss that. That's why I was recruiting it. And whatever new date you want to put it, just to put it in the agenda to talk. Like if you want to have a timeline to open in March, like you said, but just to be in public. I think that we all plan for it to be in public. So it should be in public when it is the time to do it in public. But we hadn't really decided. I was under the impression that it would be until after January. So um, we'll leave it at that for now. Okay. All right, okay, and, and, and for clarification, it will be in public. Okay, so we are adjourning the meeting at 9.08.